Hi YouTube, here is Tyler. In this video I will review the pump C6S. I got this from coolicool.com. Please take a look in the video description for more info and all the specifications. This phone comes with the octa-core 1.7 GHz with the MTK6592 chipset. It has dual SIM, 2 GB RAM and 32 GB ROM. It uh, comes with a 13 megapixel uh, Sony back camera and a 8 megapixel front camera. The display size is 5.5 inch and uh, it's IPS full HD and has the screen resolution 9020 by 1080. Other features are real compass, GPS, 3G and H plus and uh, it also supports gesture sensing. Okay, let us take a look on the design now. As you can see, the, the phone is uh, really slim, it's thin, and uh, here we have the SIM tray. On the, this side we also have the volume rocker, and here we have the micro USB port and uh, the microphone. Then on this side we have a camera button, and here we have uh, the power button. In the top we have the 3.5mm headphone jack. On the front we have the speaker that is completely dark. And we have the front facing camera. And as you can see here the screen is uh, in the same height as uh, the bezel. Overall this looks really really nice. It's totally black. So on the back we have the, um, the back speaker and we have some small text. Then here we have the pump logo and uh, the 13 megapixel back camera and the LED flash. This is the SIM tray and actually uh, this contains two SIM cards. So let me try to open up this now. Here you see the SIM tray can contain two SIM cards and uh, it's inserted into this slot. Like this. So let us try to see the weight of this device. Right now it says zero as you can see here and let's see how heavy or light this is so it says 162 gram now I'm going to take my measurement tool here and check the thickness of this device and here we see it's a precise 8 millimeter thick and the wide is 7.7 centimeter. Let me see if I can take the height also. Here in the height we have 15.2 centimeter. Let's take a look here on the reception. You see the signal on the phone is uh, pretty high. It's almost uh, in the top. My Wi-Fi right now is uh, pretty low because uh, I'm two rooms away from my router but actually the phone's uh, internet uh, is still uh, pretty okay. So regarding the screen quality here, um, this screen uh, is uh, of a high quality. Uh, I don't know if this is a real glass but uh, it's definitely hard. As you can hear, it's pretty hard and uh, it has this uh, very very nice uh, surface like um, the original phones also have I don't think it's, uh, it's um, the same quality as uh, HTC and Samsung and so on but uh, still it's a uh, kind of a screen where with um, a surface that is better than on most of the cheaper clones so 
this is really nice um, it feels like glass when I touch it and then it's really hot also so the next thing I want to show is the viewing angle as you may notice here the viewing angle is really good on this device also and the colors are really sharp and nice this device have a really vivid screen regarding the battery life in this device uh, it comes with a 3000 milliampere built-in battery and uh, so far I'm uh, really satisfied with the battery life uh, because uh, I can use the phone uh, a whole day with uh, pretty heavy load and still it uh, keeps the battery pretty good Today I have used the phone uh, very much and you can see here the battery says it's still 80% so um, I believe that 3000 milliampere inside here is actually true one of the good things is that uh, with a brand like pump you can really trust the specs this is a really uh, high quality product One of the great things also with this device is that it has uh, really many sensors. Here in the Entity 2 you see all the types uh, and kind of sensors it uh, support. There's only four sensors uh, it don't support but uh, the rest is supported. And here I'm, uh, I want to show you inside the display options in the phone we have the sensor calibration. We have the G sensor, gyroscope, proximity sensor. The G sensor looks like this. You can clear the calibration and calibrate it from new. The gyroscope sensor also can be cleared and calibrated. Then we have the proximity sensor calibration. It looks like this. So let me now show you the air gestures. And as you can see, this works in both ways, not only the, the left or right way, you can go to this side or back again. Also in the gallery, we can try here. Here is the same, you can go back and forth with the air gestures this is also really nice let us take a closer look to the software and the inside of the phone so uh, here on the front uh, I have uh, the LG lock screen because I didn't really like the the pump lock screen it's only a lock screen <laughs> uh, with no features actually so uh, you can just install any other lock screen so if you take a look here on the desktop you see here the speed is really good no lag at all it switches the sides really fast here and of course the same in the apps here there's no lag whatsoever let's go to the widgets here they also react really fast we have the touch button with light here when uh, they go out, um, this area is complete dark, as you can see. The same uh, for the screen. If I turn off the screen, this whole area is just completely dark. And that's really, really nice. So uh, this UI right now, um, this launcher, uh, is made um, by Palm and um, 
you can customize it uh, a little bit here. Uh, we have something called a appearance settings. And here you can see you can change icon settings, the dock bar you can hide it, and the page indicator labels and the grid. You can also remove the status bar and so on. For example, if you don't want the dock bar, you press here and you see the dock bar here is gone. You can also go to the icon settings and uh, here you can set your own icons for each app if you want that. For example, if you have the enter tool, you go here, you say uh, gallery. Then you take a wallpaper like this one for example. Then you here resize how big the icon should be. Then you also say save here. And you can see the enter tool icon has changed to this wallpaper. Of course you can restore the default. I'll do this now. Yes, and now the enter to icon is the stock. When we take a look on the multitasking overview, we have task manager and we have remove all, or you can just swipe to the side. A special uh, shortcut is uh, this uh, one you see here. Here you can go directly to settings, you can do a screenshot, go back or home or you can go to the lock screen. For example you are here, lock screen and it's locked. This one you can move where you want it on the screen. You can also just disable it if you don't want it. It's here, the quick shortcut and it's not there anymore. The nice thing is that uh, you can even see this inside of games also. So if you for example want to take a screenshot inside a game, just hit this or if you want to go to the settings or something. Here in the top you see I have enabled the NFC and the, the NFC works perfectly with the original uh, phones and brands. There's no problem with that. We have uh, some quick toggles here in the top to the most used uh, features like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and so on. We can go into the settings here and uh, here we have the SIM management, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, here we have the NFC and the NFC uh, also have some options as you can see here. Then we also have uh, motion and gestures. You can set this to on or off if I set this to on. Um, then we have display. This phone has the clear motion and um, we have different uh, options here to be displayed. Also here you can change the HDMI settings. For example the video resolution if you connect it to HDMI. And down here we also have the Wi-Fi Direct. Uh, this will work with Miracast. Inside of the battery, we have things like the CPU power saving mode. Let us take a look in the About Phone. Here we have um, the info about the phone and we have the Android version 4.22. We have the system update and uh, I believe this can also be updated with no problem. Okay, let's go to the Play Store. And this also works with no problems. This also all the apps here we see. Let's take a look in uh, YouTube. Here we have the app. And as you can see, I'm also signed in, so this works fine. Here are all my uploads.
Also, uh, this phone uh, support real uh, compass, as you can see here. The compass is real on this device. Let's take a look in CPU identifier. What we have here is uh, MediaTek 8 core, the pump brand and model number. Uh, we can see it has uh, 2 GB of uh, real RAM. We see the GPU. Let's go to the next. And here we see um, what kind of display. It's a full HD. Here we have the flashlight. And you can see it's really, really bright. I think uh, it, it's much brighter than uh, other brands. The next thing I want to show is the uh, link to SD. Let's go into the storage info. And what we see here is that it has internal for apps about 6 GB. The SD card is uh, 22.11 GB. Let us try to go into the browser. Let me take a heavy page with a lot of pictures. And as you see the browser is really fast. Let's try let us try to scroll. Okay, you can see it also scrolls really fast here. There's a lot of pictures on this uh, page here but uh, actually it's really fast still. Okay guys, now I'm going to show you that the NFC also works on this device. As you can mm -hmm. see here, the NFC is enabled in the top. Here I have my uh, I made with the uh, NFC also, so I turn this on, I go to the gallery here. Here I have a picture I, for example, want to send, so I hold this. Like this. And uh, on the front here it says touch to beam. And now the M8 is receiving the picture. Incoming beam, it says here. So now the beam is completed and I can touch to view it in the gallery here. And here you see the picture from the pump I sent to the M8. So uh, when you want to activate the camera very fast on this uh, phone, you just uh, press and hold the camera button here in top. And as you can see, the camera starts up uh, very fast. And here you see a sample I just took here of the Android. And as you notice, um, the quality is actually okay, I think. It's pretty good. You have to get really, really close to see some uh, some grain or some noise in the picture. But uh, overall, I think it's, uh, it's a good picture quality. So uh, this camera also supports the uh, object tracking. So when I press an object here and I move it, you see it tracks the object or if I move the camera to the side so uh, here I have my OTG cable with a USB dongle on 4 GB. So let us see if this works on the phone. Let's see if I can get this in. Like this. 
and it's recognized here as USB storage. So let me try to go into the file manager. And here we see the external USB storage. So here on the USB dongle I have some uh, pictures. Let's take a look. Also I have some music here. Let's try this one. So as you can see and hear, uh, this phone can play really loud. As always, I'm also going to test uh, a Bluetooth uh, mouse here. Let's go into the Bluetooth. Turn it on. And uh, the mouse is uh, already found. As you can see, it's uh, found here. Apple Magic Mouse. Going to pair it and uh, it's already paired, connected you can see the options here also let's go back let's see if the mouse is there, yes it works so as you can see here I can use the mouse perfectly on this device to scroll to the side and control the things so that's really nice so uh, now I'm going to test out uh, Asphalt 8 and uh, as you can see I'm in the settings here and the visual quality is set to high, maximum. So I'm going back here, let's play.
So my final words for this device is that I can recommend this phone for people who want a simple high quality phone. It has a very big nice screen and when turned off it is totally black. That's really nice. The phone is very fast and has a nice UI from Pump that can be customized in different ways. So uh, that's it for now. If you have any questions please remember to comment below and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in my next video. See ya.